Hello gorgeous soul friends, welcome to my channel, Madame DeVoe. Thank you so much for tuning in and for allowing me into your wondrous experience today. So this week's energy, August 1st through the 7th, the theme of this week is uprooting and trimming off dead ends. So we're beginning this month with Jupiter having just retrograded back into the sign of Aquarius, which it had left when it moved into the sign of Pisces on May 13th. Um, it's returning for some unfinished business from a few months previous, earlier in the year. Events that were left with no conclusion, you know, things have just kind of been up in the air. They're coming down to be grounded over the course of this Jupiter in Aquarius. Um, things that have happened over the past six to seven months for some of you. Um, they're popping back up to be cleared during this time, so don't be surprised if you see people, situations, events. Um, kind of popping up to have closure or to bring a sense of peace um, to scenarios that were kind of chaotic or scattered or up in the air. We're also beginning this month with the Sun and Mercury both in the sign of Leo, which is activating the Saturn Uranus square, a defining aspect of 2021. The Sun is clashing with Saturn on August 2nd and then with Uranus on August 6th. So the entire first week has this kind of air of confusion. It's like not really knowing whether to be nervous or to be excited for the upcoming events that are going to be occurring over the course of the next two to three weeks. Um, it's pretty clear by now which structures it, um, in our lives are up for review and even the ones that are going to be getting kicked to the curb. I think we have a pretty good idea on what is serving us and what is not. And because of this energy, some of us could be feeling left quite vulnerable this week. Um, so don't be surprised if you're kind of in a funky energy for the first week of August, like it feels uncertain. It feels like there's an energy of uncertainty surrounding something, um, lack of clarity, not really having a full understanding or a full scope of what's going on in certain situations in your life. Um, so there is kind of this nervousness, try to write it out and even replace the nervousness with excitement because like I said, a lot of the stuff that is being uprooted right now is stuff that is not serving you anymore. It's things that are kind of being trimmed away so that it can be replaced with better. Saturn and Uranus are two contradictory forces. Um, one wants to maintain stability and keep things the way that they are, while the other wants to forge ahead and create these new paths and improve parts that are not working for all concerned. Um, so there is this kind of clashing energy where there's like a part of you that really wants to stay comfortable and is feeling comfortable or was feeling comfortable with a certain situation. And you're kind of in this space of like, well, I was really just getting used to this, you know what I mean? And now everything's changing up again. You know, for some of you, like you may have moved to a new place um, or you may have just gotten a new job in a specific department only to find out that you're being moved to a new department where you know you have no idea what's going on and you were just barely figuring out what the hell was going on in this particular department you know what i mean so it just feels like there's an energy where just as you were getting comfortable with something it's changing um so there is kind of this nervousness but once again this excitement because i think what's coming for you is better and i think intuitively a lot of you already know this and you're already much aware or, or well aware of this energy so you're just being called to you know Take some deep breaths this week, guys. Like, it's very shaky. This week is very shaky. There's a lot going on. Um, but just know that you are very much taken care of and everything is working out in your best interest. Um, I also kept picking up the energy of being able to see the silhouette of something that hasn't quite manifested yet, but it's long overdue. Um, it feels like an offer of help. It could be an apology for some of you, but I specifically picked up like an offer of help. Um, because something is becoming too much to handle for you. That's, that's what I'm picking up. And the energy is interesting because you're not exactly asking for the help. Um, and I even feel like some of you may be keeping hush-hush about this situation and not really letting people know that you need help with something or that something has become a lot to handle for you. Um, and you may even try to shut out this help when it's presented to you. Like there may be somebody who comes forth and says, hey, you know, let me take care of your kids or let me help you out with that move or something like that. And you may try to kind of like brush it off and try to deny them or deny yourself the help, you know, tell this person no uh, out of pride. But you're being asked to let people help you this month because I really do feel there is an energy of someone who is feeling intuitively compelled to help you out with something. Um, like I said, it could be moving, it could be financial help, 
could be taking care of your kids, taking care of your house, anything. Um, but it's almost like spirit is sending you this help in the form of this offer or this person. So you're being asked to let people help you this week, guys. Um, you'll thank yourself and this person later. <laughs> so let people help you. Be open to people giving to you. Like be receptive this month, guys. Um, allow people to give to you. Because I think some of you really struggle with that. Um, you possibly really struggle with letting people help you and, and accepting gifts from people and all of that stuff. So now we're going to look into the tarot and we're going to see what the tarot cards can clarify about this energy. It's already been a really shaky week for me personally. I don't know if some of you saw I posted on Instagram yesterday. I got in a car accident. I got T-boned. Apparently my head cracked the window open um, on my driver's side because I got T-boned on my driver's side. It's actually fascinating. I was looking at pictures of the accident. And he hit me just, it was, I really do believe something is watching over me because the way that he hit my car, um, he had hit it in a way that it was like just a few inches away from hitting me. So, and it was pretty bad. I'm pretty sure if he would have hit me, I would have been in some serious condition, like critical condition, but I walked away unscathed. I mean, I really, even with my head hitting the, the glass and breaking the glass, um, I was fine. I mean, I even went to the hospital, you know, I was coherent. <laughs> um, I mean, they said I didn't even need a CAT scan, so. But let's look into these cards. You got judgment here. But I like to think that this car accident is the universe replacing my car with a better one. You know what I mean? It, it's kind of funny because um, I've been trying to manifest. I've been in the process of manifesting a new car. So I just think it's really interesting that this particular accident happened when it did because I really do believe everything is divinely orchestrated. So I'm not tripping. I am not tripping over it. I'm just happy to be here to be able to read cards for you guys still. Cause could you imagine? Imagine Madame Devo just dropping off the face of the earth. It could happen. That's the crazy thing is like, you know, it really could happen at any point. Spirit tells me I got too much shit to do before that happens, so <laughs> I'm just here. I'm just here until then. Anytime I've ever had like any kind of fears of death, there's always this voice that tells me like, no, you still got shit to do. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I'm here to fulfill my mission. Got the Princess of Cups, and then let's look at your last card. The Ten of Swords. Okay. And you also have the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So this Ten of Swords energy is, um, like I was saying, it's that part of you that is ending things. You know, you're closing out these cycles, um, trimming off the dead ends, uprooting things that aren't working anymore, and shifting them to spaces and areas where you will thrive and where you will feel more fulfilled, right? That's what the Princess of Cups is. Because the Cups is all about nourishment, right? So... The spaces that you've currently been in, possibly for the past like 10 months, for some of you, um, it doesn't feel like these spaces have been nurturing to you. Um, it's almost like there is an energy that's hindering your growth. It could be a person, for some of you it is with the Princess of Cups, it could be a place, it could be a situation, it could be a job, whatever. Um, but you're being hindered in a specific area in your life and that's why this ending is happening because you're being called to something better. It's almost like you're outgrowing something because I'm even seeing the vibe of like shedding skin, right? Like a snake, the way a snake sheds its skin. That's kind of what you're doing here. You're in this uncomfy phase, right? Like when you're getting to, when the snake is growing so much and it's getting to that point where the skin um, doesn't fit anymore, but the snake is still growing and growing, it becomes very uncomfy. It becomes very tight, right? So that's kind of, the space that some of you are in right now, it feels like that tight squeeze before the skin finally, you know, busts and then, you know, it sheds. So it, it's this uncomfortable energy with the Ten of Swords. So don't be surprised, you know, if you find yourself feeling drained, you know, take time for yourself this month or not, I mean this month, but specifically these next couple of weeks. Because I do feel like there is a transitionary phase that's happening in the month of August for a lot of you. 
um, and for some of you it's starting this week. So it may have already started for some of you, um, but it feels heavy because it's just a lot. Like I said, it's like some of you guys are completely and totally uprooting yourselves, changing your lives completely, doing 180s, um, especially with judgment. You know, I'm seeing somebody who's upgrading ultimately because judgment could be an upgrade. It's kind of like the universe is taking off one burden in your life. Like that's what this feels like. So whatever is ending in the month of August, whatever these big endings are, it feels like you're being absolved of something. It's almost like the universe is kind of lifting this weight off of you um, as a way to help you move and, and flow easier with life. But some of you are fighting that, you know, because you don't want to let go with the Three of Swords. And it's a very painful process, right? Like some of you, I'm telling you, you're going through it, right? I mean, I got in a car accident yesterday. This energy is heavy, guys. <laughs> so I can't even imagine what some of you guys are going through. Because like I said, my car accident was not that bad, but I never get in car accidents. So for this energy to affect me in that way, like I can see where some of you guys are definitely going through a heavy, heavy energy right now. So you need to relax, guys. Like if this is you and you've been going through it, you know, maybe you've been dealing with some kind of relationship betrayal. I'm seeing a lot of betrayals happening right now. I mean, one of the things that I picked up in this month's energy specifically was a lot of betrayals and a lot of friendship endings specifically with the princess of cups it doesn't even have to be a romantic relationship but it feels like there is some kind of significant connection that you have with another person that's going to be ending in the month of august and it feels quite painful because of the ten of swords so this could be somebody doing you dirty you know what i mean this could be somebody doing you dirty um, and you just kind of like processing it all. Because that's always kind of what I see the Ten of Swords as, is like a processing moment. Like he still is trying to figure out what the fuck just hit him. That's what this feels like. It's like somebody who, because he's, he's alive. <laughs> You'd be surprised. He's alive in this card. He's actually not dead. Um, and that's kind of the, the purpose of the original, the original Raider Waite Smith deck. He's holding up the two fingers um, to signify that he's still alive. So that's kind of what this is depicting, you know, in, in my energy that I'm picking up from this. It's very much that, like where you're still alive, you're still kicking, but it fucking hurts. <laughs> it sure fucking hurts. <laughs> Um, some of you might be getting acupuncture as well. I like to always see the Ten of Swords as like acupuncture. You might want to consider getting acupuncture. It may feel uh, like pins and needles or somebody may struggle with like nerve pain or some something of that nature. Um, back pain as well. Um, but I am seeing a significant ending with a friend or with a significant connection that you have that's quite painful. Um, and it feels like this is being lifted off your shoulders because for some of you, this friendship or this relationship was not beneficial for you with the Five of Wands. It feels like there could have been a lot of jealousy, there could have been a lot of competition, um, there could have been a lot of lies, backstabbing, deceit, all of that stuff. Um, it, it, it feels like a blessing in disguise. That's what feels, um, that's what I feel is happening this month, is a blessing in disguise. Like I was saying with my car, you know what I mean? I've been trying to manifest a new car. I literally have been doing meditations and all of that stuff and, you know, just kind of eyeing out the type of car I want and all of that. And yesterday happened. And even as soon as I got hit, as soon as I got hit, my head hit the window and I came back and I was like, oh, my new car. Like that was the first thing that came to my head. I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like this is happening for a reason. Like it just... Yeah, it, was, it just hit me in that moment. So I feel like that's kind of what's happening for a lot of you as well. You know, it's very much like something is happening for a reason. You may not see it right now because some of you still have your head buried, you know, in the ground, maybe even buried in your tears. Like cry right now, guys, let it out. That's what the uh, Princess of Cups is here for. Feel your emotions. Like don't be afraid to talk to somebody. Don't be afraid to ask for help, guys. That's what judgment is here to say as well. Like. There's somebody that's coming forth to absolve you of some kind of stress or absolve you of some kind of burden, right? The, oof, the Ten of Swords, 
they're heavy, baby. They're heavy, like swords are heavy. Have you ever held a sword in real life? It's a heavy ass thing, okay? So could you imagine having 10 of these bitches in your back? Absolutely not, right? It's heavy. But the judgment is coming here to say that there's somebody who can kind of help lift that weight off. They can kind of help pull the swords out of your back. Um, you know what I mean? Because I feel like some of you don't want to ask for help and it's possibly, you know, keeping you in this stuck place. Some of you feel stuck. You feel stuck with something. It's kind of like maybe something has ended. Like I said, some of you are still processing what the fuck just happened. And, um, you know, you feel stuck. You're like, I, I don't even know. I don't know what happened. And I don't even know what to do. You know, I don't even know what happened. So how am I supposed to know what to do from here? It just feels like some of you are in shock. Like I'm really picking up somebody being in shock. Like I said, I don't think that my car accident happening yesterday, like it's just a manifestation of this energy. So I was in shock, obviously. So I feel like some of you could be in experiencing, maybe some of you are getting in car accidents, but it feels more of like the energy of a collision as in like something's hitting you pretty hard this month. Um, like something's kind of coming out of left field or something has come out of left field. I feel like this energy has already happened. It almost kind of feels like the worst is over with the 10 of swords. Uh, especially with the Ten of Swords and Judgment. It's kind of saying like the worst is behind you. Like you don't have to stress anymore. You don't have to worry that this is going to get worse. It can only get better. Um, but some of you have to allow it to get better and not fight the change so much. You know, because that's the issue is like some of you are in so much pain. You know, you're, you're very, very much broken from this situation. Or you feel like the situation has broken you in a lot of ways. Um, and... It just feels like there's something that you're trying to fight because it's painful to just let it go. It feels like a relationship for a lot of you. It feels like a relationship. But of course it'll vary for each of you. I mean, it could even be a job, right? Like some of you might be feeling extremely drained in a position that you're overqualified for but you refuse to go out and look for um, jobs that better suit your needs because it's comfortable. You know what I mean? So you're kind of being forced out of your comfort zone this month, unfortunately, <laughs> but fortunately, because down the line, everything always happens for a reason. So I'm telling you guys, like you're gonna look back on the situation and you're going to be very thankful that it happened the way that it did. And Spirit is kind of divinely guiding this, like I said, in your best interest, so don't fight it. Because by fighting it, you just create more resistance. So just trust that everything is being absolved. Um, if it's being taken out of your life, it's for a reason. It's for a reason, guys. Like, don't fight it. Don't fight it. It's, it's only gonna make the process more painful. But that is what I'm seeing here. Thank you so much for joining me this week, guys. I will see you next week and take it easy. Have a beautiful rest of your week. Bye-bye.